Okay, I have this. I have this uh, desoldering station. The top off of it. There's the top lint over there. Uh, this is what we have in here. Um, this is a control board that I made. Of course, this is the uh, this is the refrigerator compressor. It come out of that small wine cooler cabinet. We have a transformer, 28 volt, 28 volt transformer, and this is a uh, this is the uh, vacuum container, and I put the way I made that was with two PVC caps glued together, and I drill holes in here for these uh, elbows. So we got this is the suction side. This is the suction side of the compressor, and goes to uh, the container. And uh, this is the this is the side here. This is it. It goes through this uh, 24 volt solenoid valve. It's a valve there. Comes through this hose. This is where I hook my this is where I hook my desoldering wand wand to. Okay. This other one right here. This goes to the vacuum sensor, which is a <coughs> a vacuum solenoid, or not a solenoid, vacuum switch. And I made this, uh, turned it out of aluminum, and put uh, I drilled a hole in there, and, uh, and then I made a piston. It has two row O rings on it, and there's a spring behind here. Then there's another. Uh, there's another type of piston in the in the end here that's connected if you can see it or not it's connected to this little piece of drill rod right there that drill rod is hitting against this micro switch and when the pressure when when it when it draws enough vacuum and it overpowers the spring It'll pull this other s piston down, and uh, the spring pressure from this micro switch will push this inside piston. It, there's another piston back here. It, it's a float. It's just a floating piece of metal. Is basically is all it is. It's round, and the spring pressure off this switch will push it back too, also, and it will sh it will shut the compressor off. I mean, it'll turn the compressor on. When there's when there's when there's vacuum in here, it'll it'll pull the switch down and turn the compressor off. When there's no vacuum in there, then the spring will push the piston back, and it'll push against this uh, uh, micro switch blade and turn the compressor off. So you can get about. probably two or three dozen uh, draws on vacuum out of here before it'll turn this on so it, it'll take a few minutes it'll take a few minutes uh, depending on how often you leave this switch when this switch right here is is pushed it'll come out this wire right here this red and gray it'll come over to here and what this does, th this sends 24 volts. Uh, th this will actuate this relay and send 24 volts to this solenoid and open the solenoid. Then when you release the switch, the solenoid, uh, the uh, relay will relax and turn the solenoid off. This area of the, uh, of course, this piece here is the start capa I mean the start capacitor for the uh, the uh, compressor and uh, this area right here is, is a 555 timer 
and I've got that uh, I've got that made configured uh, through the uh, to the pulses out on it is turning this transistor on and off and in turn it's turning the gate on and off on these two FETs and what that's doing is feeding it feeding the heater on the soldering iron right here this is the heater wire so really all you got going to the iron is the heater and the push button up there I mean I got I got two leads here for the temperature uh, sensor but I'm not using the sensor because I I'm marking <coughs> when I turn this thing up enough I'll be I'll be measuring I'll be measuring the temperature of the end with this thermometer and when it gets about 250 degrees I'll mark this here and then that'll tell me automatically how much to turn it on so the higher you turn this the faster this light will blink right here because that's a uh, that like I said that's the pulse from the pulse width modulation on that chip right there here we got uh, two 12 volt regulators back to back here we have a LM317 uh, uh, it's adjusted to 22 volts and that's what actu that's what actuates this that that's what drives this this uh, vacuum solenoid here is 22 volts this th this L I mean this uh, relay over here is when this micro switch operates it actuates this relay and it turns on 110 volts to this compressor so there's so we're having a 110 volts run through this relay here and uh, let me get on the other side okay we have a we have a line fuse here it's an 8 amp line fuse uh, we got a 110 coming in here and of course I got it marked transformer input and then this is the transformer output this is the bridge rectifier right there and then here's the cap for the for the system and this this is going to the compressor here and that's what operates that so it's I mean this thing took a while I had to cut the output the, the final product of this board I had to cut five boards going through the revisions but this is the final board and uh, it's even though it took a while to do this it's it's really not a it's it's really a no-brainer you just gotta sit down and you gotta figure out what, what you're gonna what you're gonna do this pot here is a 1k pot of course you it you know you can fix it you can readjust this ch by changing the uh, the cap and a, and a resistor down here to where the pulse width modulation will change according to what these components are and uh, but I've got it adjusted to where if I turn this all the way up it, it'll heat up to about 450 or 500 degrees and we've got we've got about 35 volts going to the heater on this this is rated at uh, 32 volts at, at at 100 watt so I've got 